We spend so much time looking at screens. Specifically, I spend so much time using Photoshop. So I think we all owe it to ourselves to take that seriously, to think about how we can design our spaces to be happier. So over the next few videos, I'm going to be talking about ways that you can improve Photoshop. But I think we should start the conversation with the book, The Architecture of Happiness by Alain de Botton. In this book, he examines this relationship between the spaces that we spend our time in and the way that we feel. And he talks a lot about Le Corbusier, the French modernist architect. In 1925, he was commissioned to make these houses for French factory workers. And even though he was a young architect, he was very forward thinking and he gave them these aspirational, beautiful, modern, essentially concrete and glass boxes. So the people move in and then over the next decades, they start adding little personal touches, a chain link fence, shingles, some roof tiles, essentially stripping away all those very careful, minimal architectural features and making it look more common. And his goal was well-wishing. He was trying to elevate their lives by giving them a touch of sort of high design, even though they were on a small budget. But what he failed to remember was that they work in a factory all day. So when they came home, they wanted something different. They wanted something with a personal touch. Now, none of this is to say that modernism itself was wrong, just that it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. But that's what we have in front of us. We open Photoshop with its default settings. What we're looking at here is that modernist glass and concrete box, perfectly gridded, expertly laid out with good intentions. But in all that research and design time, you were never considered. The way you paint, the way you like to have your tools laid out. Because as I spend my day painting, I might start by thinking about the room I'm in, but as time moves on, I sort of get in the zone and everything else fades away. And in that moment, the screen becomes my architecture. And though de Botton doesn't really have any strong conclusions at the end of his book, it's an interesting question. And I really do believe that I'm affected by the architecture that I spend my time in. That a clean desk with a sketch pad, some light coming in the window, that this clears the mind. And the exact same is true for Photoshop. So in the following videos, we're going to get a lot more specific about what tools to use and what different menus you might like. But until then, I'll leave you with a very straightforward question. Are you satisfied with the poured concrete box that Adobe's given you, or are you ready to move in and make it your own?